We are here at Valve Music Festival, and of course, bingo players, we had to talk to them. Martin, thank you for being on the show. Thank you so, so much, man. Tell me about, like, you've just been touring like crazy, you're back at it, going hard, people are going ballistic, they're so happy you're back. What's going on right now, the inspiration, how's the, how's the tour, how's everything? Uh, well, this summer is crazy, man. It's like going back and forth from the US to Europe, back and forth, back and forth all the time. So like time, like time traveling, like jet lag and stuff is crazy, but I don't know, man. The summer is always special, you know, the festivals, the people, they have holidays or whatever, and it's, energy is always, always amazing. How do you balance out? Because are like four days maybe you get to chill and group? No, it's like two, it two days, one day, you know, I get home, I just wash my clothes and go back on the road again, you know, it's crazy. But I'm thankful for it, I'm not complaining, but um, it's like, oh, yes, my own bed. And that's just for one day, and then the next day I'm again in the US or, or somewhere in Europe, you know, so. But try to, in between the days, I try to chill. But it's hard. Well, you're killing it. Tracks number one, first number one is blowing up, just Thanks going so crazy. Yeah. I know you have a lot of tracks you haven't released. I've been yes. doing a little bit of research. What's coming up next? How are you picking your music? How's you, it? You know, it gonna go? you know, I try to uh, test it to while, I'm, while I'm playing. That's the great thing about being a DJ. You just have a song on your laptop or whatever you work on it on a plane and just play it out the same night and see what the reaction is. Um, I think the next single is coming out in September. Uh, it's a more, it's not a, a folk or melodic track, a more banger, yeah. uh, and yeah, I'm excited about it. I'm starting to tweak it a bit, so I'm not sure if it's coming in September. I try to, but you know, I'm a perfectionist. I try to finish and make it the best I can, you know. So what is it now that you look for for inspiration? Is it a sound? Is it trips? Uh, you, you know, know you, you get inspiration from everything, you know. It's from other music, of course, that's the biggest inspiration, but also like sometimes you're like, super happy or super down or whatever you know and you get inspiration from that like you feel your emotions and try to respond to that with making music for me like making music is the biggest outlet of your emotions or how you feel at that time you know you started producing then you went to DJing so that was insane that was a nice look. yeah yeah we started producing first and and the songs were okay but they didn't do really well because we didn't know how the crowds were you know if that makes sense you know sense. once you start DJing and you test your songs, you can immediately see if the reaction is okay or no. You can make a song and you think, oh, this is awesome, but if 1,000 or 2,000 people say, Mwah, you know, you're like, okay, we have to go back to the drawing board and fix this, fix that, and then you play it again, and you see like the progression, like people are like, oh, okay, this is better and better and better. And then you're at a certain point, you're happy and satisfied with the song, and you can release it, you know? It's one of your tricks, from my understanding, you sing yeah. and whistle to the beats. Uh, the best advice I ever get got from somebody is that a good melody is the melody you can play on a flute. So like a single note that everybody can whistle along to. Mm. If you can do that, then the song is going to be pretty hard to like become a hit, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Imagine that, you know, if you listen to all the hits, you can all whistle them. Think about it. Well, just because of that, we're going to give you some goodies. But before that, a couple oh, more personal yeah, sure. things. Like, where do you like to kick it? How do you just chill out? when you, If you did have a month off, what would you do? Oh, man. Well, I have a girlfriend and a kid. I recently became a father. So nice I like, like, thanks so much. I like to be at home and just chill. Just do nothing. Watch stupid television shows, ordering a pizza or whatever, you know. I like that stuff, like really regular stuff. What's the wildest thing you've ever done? The wildest thing I've ever done, man, I'm pretty pretty basic. I never did something really wild. Never been bungee jumping, never been uh, skydiving or whatever, you know, if that's wild, you know. Um, I don't know. The most wildest thing I, I did is like going to some death metal concerts and was at the marsh pit like in the center almost and I was like, oh, this is <laughs> great, you know. Yeah, yeah, so no, I'm not, I'm not a person that does wild things. So. Wildest thing your fans ever done to you? Uh, oh, so that's that's some stories I can't I can't tell. No, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you know the, you know the EDM crowd is 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 wild, but they don't do crazy. They're classy. Yeah, they're classy. They're Sometimes you get like marsh pits, or it's like uh, like girls like pulling up the shirts. You know, it's gotta, be, it's gotta be done. It's gotta be done, but it's not, not not. I didn't see like, you know what I like about EDM and like the whole whole scene is that there are never fights. Yep, that's almost good. never fights. Of course, sometimes, but it's. A, always a very peaceful, respectful community, if you want to call it like that. You know, and that's what I like. Everybody's really understanding, peaceful, and they just want to enjoy the music, and that's what I like, you know. And this is why we're okay. up with all this awesome Oh, stuff. shit. Here's the first oh. one. Where's that VIP card? There it is. VIP mm -hmm. card for Tag Threads. 
They make oh, awesome, shit. cool clothing. I knew you would like this. Oh, that's dope. Very, that's very dope. Pack full. It, it fits them. Hope must never die. That's There's dope. One. That's dope. Then, because uh, yeah, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. One, one second. Let's this, check this, it out. this is not irons. No. Jesus, I always iron my shirts, dude. What's this? Oh, it's, 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 <laughs> you know why? It comes in a tube. Ah, okay. It's okay. from Montreal. Dope, really dope. So Thanks so much. A little tube. I figured you don't want to carry a tube, so we're like, yeah. let's just pull it out. Great, no. Thanks so much. I know you kid. I know you always need energy, so instead of always drinking Red Bull and having that up down, uh, 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 oxygen air, ninety five percent air. So when you're in the plane or whatever you're about to go, you said just spray air. Nice. Which people pay for air now. It's an amazing no. thing. So that's <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. And the best okay. thing for all, we got you uh, Monster products. Gave awesome. You some DNA. Well, oh, guys, thank you so much. Great. Yeah, I hope you like okay. it. Okay. Thanks so much. So, yeah, that's okay. it from Love the City. This set was amazing. We're gonna catch more. Bell, peace out. Love this. All right. Thanks so much.